is good you it's your boy it's back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be doing a little pack opening of the inferno packs in nba 2k24 my team now Here's the deal, guys. I know deep down I'm probably going to have to end up grinding these agendas for Tracy McGrady as it stands. Because the only way you can get Tracy McGrady is if you pull him or you grind out all the agendas. So after this pack opening, all I'm probably going to do is see how long it takes me to get these agendas done, do a little speed run, and go from there. But I mean, look, pack's probably not going to be worth it. But look, I don't think these pack odds are that bad. Plus, if I happen to pull Tracy McGrady, somebody like that, then look, I have a gameplay to do and I can go from there. So that's what to look at today as far as this pack opening. Now, again, if I was to rip packs, I'm opening the base packs and that's what I'd recommend you guys doing as well because you get badges, jerseys, all those types of things that do have some value. Another thing for me is Amethyst do quick sell for what? Like eight, 9,000 MT. So if you pull enough Amethyst, it will pay for the packs itself. So that's where we're at today. 2% chance to pull the diamond, less than 2% chance to pull a pink diamond. That's kind of what to expect. But let's get into it, see what we do pull and all of those things. Again, if you do rip Inferno base packs, I'd recommend either the 10 or 20 box. You are going to get a better return on your investment. So honestly, if I pull one diamond, I'll pro it'll probably pay for itself. If I don't pull the diamond, you know what? We're probably not going to be looking too good as far as the MT is concerned. And any, you know, any Amis you pull, it, hey, it's icing on the cake. Honestly, if you pull an Ami or above, you are looking pretty good. So far, not good. I mean, Trey Young, whatever, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain too much about it, but again, that's really what you are wanting to pull. Two Hawks players in a row. DeJounte Murray, Trey Young. Now, do we have any good Hawks players in the packs? I'm trying to just hint towards something, but I do not think we really have too much going on. But even like Shubu, Shoes, all those things, I think you can pull up. There's a new coach too that I think is added into the game that you can pull. That would be solid as well. Sapphire Dame. I guess I will take it. A lot of people in my chat right now are saying they got Clyde, James, Jairus, and Jennings. So, I mean, they seem like they've gotten a lot of, of good pack luck. Uh-oh, I got a shake right here. What do we got? An Amethyst. You know what? I, I'm not going to complain too much about it. An Amethyst. You know what? Uh, I'll take it. Point guard. Who is this? Brandon Jennings? Okay. I mean, whatever. I'm, not, again, not going to complain about it. But I feel like for me, I'm just, you know, seeing what these pack odds are like. I'm going to have to go grind out T-Mac as it is no matter what. So I'm not going to complain about it. Some guy in my chat just said, I pulled Curry. And I'm over here pulling Brandon Jennings and they're getting Steph Curry. It's just the way it is, I guess. But a lot of times for me, the reason I rip these more importantly than anything is badges. I feel like I've run out of badges so often. And so every extra badge I get from here, I will take. But these packs looking pretty dry. Supposedly you're supposed to have a 24% chance to pull an amethyst. I've pulled one amethyst through 11 packs. The math ain't mathing to me. It's not adding up to me as it stands right now. Another emerald here. I've got one amethyst. And we are 13 packs into this thing. Okay, another amethyst right here. I'll take it. Hold up. Hold the phone, 2K. Hold, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. We got a diamond. Hold up. Hold your phone, 2K. We got a diamond. Now, who do I want out of this diamond? Let's talk about it. Who who do I want here? Okay, so the diamond options, you could get Bond Carroll. You could get Clyde. You could get Hero. You could get Jamal Murray. Who do I want? I want Bond Carroll. That is absolutely who I want here. I want Bond Carroll. Point guard. Ooh. They give me the worst diamond. They literally give me the worst diamond out of everybody in Jamal Murray. I mean, are we serious? The worst diamond. That is horrible. Jamal Murray is horrible. Yo, Hayden, you are lying. You did not pull Tracy McGrady. Stop lying for the video. You did not pull T-Mac. You're lying. No, 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 no. No way y'all pulling. No way y'all pulling pink diamonds in the base packs. Are the base packs just juice? Because they're not juice for me. Mike Brown. I've already got him. He's useless. Yeah, everybody's trolling. Everybody's saying they pulled T-Mac in the chat. And I'm pulling Jamal Murray. But at the end of the day, the way I got to think about these base packs is they cost 76,000 MT, okay? Which, I mean, yes, you're going to need to pull at least a couple of Ambies if you want to pay for that. But that's not the worst, like, that's not the worst thing. Especially if you can pull a diamond once in a while. That's not the worst thing. Now, I will say, I will say, uh, you know, Jairus Walker, he looks good for a budget beast. I don't know exact, exactly what his release is. I would try it out before going and buying Jairus Walker or grinding him. But he definitely does look really solid in my team. Another shake, another Amethyst. You know what? 
a one diamond, three amethyst in our first thing. I'll take it as we do get DeAndre Ayton. I do think a couple, a, a lot of these Ami cards are pretty decent as well. Um, so that's something maybe you guys can look at, like even with Ayton, Jairus Walker. A lot of these guys can be good budget ballers for you. So the nice part about it is I can quick sell all this for 23,000 MT. Now, a lot of what I do is I swap it out. Like my Dame is graded, so I swap him out. And see, is there any of these other cards I can swap out? I don't think there probably is, but that's something I'd always look at for you. Do you have anybody that you could swap out that is graded that you could just make a little more MT from? Because I've got some of these guys graded and you want to make as much MT as possible on these cards. Even Victor Oladipo, 40 extra MT. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Let's quick sell the rest. And then let's go see. I had 24,000 MT. Plus I could go and sell all these cards. So that's basically 53 uh now you're looking at 61 okay 77,000 so that first pack basically paid for itself i made 77,000 mt and uh and i bought it for 76,000 mt so as long as you can re make your return on an investment it doesn't really matter what you pull obviously i want to pull tracy mcgrady but if i don't pull t-mac i just hope i can get my mt back for the most part and if you pull sapphires you're in pretty good shape people want me to complain on the timeline about what uh just because uh no they, they didn't change sigs or what nato man well, well, well okay another amethyst to add to the collection i'll take it i'm not gonna complain too much man I am not going to complain too much small for James Jones. So I think I've packed all of the Amethyst now. I got Aiden. I got James Jones. I got Brandon Jennings. I got Jairus Walker. I think I've pulled all of the Amethyst now. James Jones, JT Thorbay 6'8". That card is absolutely fantastic in a my team. Quentin Grimes, uh, KD said it best. You can't do nothing on the court and you won't do nothing on my court, Mr. James Jones. Paul George right there. I pulled Curry Ty. What is up with everybody pulling Curry, T-Mac, AK? Where is my pack luck, 2K? All these guys are pulling crazy packs. And I'm over here pulling trolls, man. Another Amethyst. I thought I already had all the Amethysts. I thought I already had Brandon Jennings. No? Okay, I guess I didn't have Brandon Jennings. I mean, whatever. Do I have all the Amethysts now? I feel like I already had pulled Brandon Jennings, but I guess I didn't. Larry Bird takes 50 hours and he's not even a top five small forward. I mean, yeah, but I mean... It, did you expect anything else out of Larry Bird? When they announced it was Larry Bird, I knew it was over with. I, I knew. Like, they're not going to make him good. My best pull is Jamal till now. I just need AK for the whole thing to be done. But you're, you, if you pull T-Mac, then it don't matter. I mean, I guess it still matters. I, I guess if you want it, uh, if you want everybody. But yeah, the whole thing is you can't get T-Mac unless you pull T-Mac. It's not like you can lock in the set for T-Mac. No, you have to actually grind it out. T-Mac's not the lock-in. So it's just kind of a whole troll situation here. So, I mean, if you don't pull T-Mac and you want T-Mac, you're still going to have to go back and grind everything else out. Moo says these cards stink. Man, the cards are not that bad. Y'all are gassing it. Y'all are gassing it. T-Mac might not even play. T-Mac's not that bad. Y'all are gassing it. Uh, but nah, this box has been pretty dry too. I know I've pulled a couple of Amis, but unless you pull a Diamond, you're probably not looking too good as far as these base packs are concerned. But I, again, I, I, I like the fact that they have the options. Okay, another Ami to, for these base packs in my team. I like it because you know what? It's affordable and if you really want to gamble with your MT, you can. I mean, a lot of people have had some success out of these base packs. I can't say I've had a lot of success, but I also can't say... I've lost a lot of MT because I have. Like, even there, boom, quick sells for 54,000 MT. So, I mean, are you probably going to make MT on these packs? No, but I mean, as long as you end up close, you should be a okay. Okay, I'm just tired of getting these Amethyst coaches. Hopefully, Jamal Mosley is a good coach, though, because I need a better coach than I've got right now. Mike Brown needs to go, though. If you get all the cards, you can't lock in for T-Mac. No. Like, the only way you get T-Mac is by grinding him out or pulling him. He is not the set lock-in, and that's something you guys need to know. So, if you're ripping packs, hoping to pull everybody for T-Mac, it is ultimately not going to work out in the way you guys do ultimately want to. T-Mac ain't a lock-in? No, he's not. So, I mean, don't waste your MT trying to lock in for T-Mac. You gotta pull a T-Mac. It is that simple, that easy. But, I mean, packs... I, I still don't hate these packs because, again, you are probably going to lose MT in the long run. You know that. But at the end of the day, it's not ridiculous. Plus, you always have that chance to pull something crazy. The main reason I'm opening these packs, number one, 
Five pool of pink diamond stuff. I got a gameplay that I don't have to grind for the card. Number two, uh, you know, it's 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 a good video for you guys. So you guys can see what these packs are like without me having to spend money. So that's just kind of again why I'm ripping these packs. Pack odds don't look that bad. 24% chance to pull an amethyst. I think we've seen a lot worse packs in my team. Somebody said T-Mac in a deluxe with MT. There y'all go, man. T-Macs are being pulled. Feel sorry for anyone spending money on this game. Yeah, I mean, this is a week you shouldn't have to spend money, though. Everybody is saying they pulled T-Mac, but I feel like no way they all pull in T-Mac, right? Congrats if you do pull T-Mac, uh, pull anybody else that you really want, but these packs are not looking great to me. I am going to open up one more pack to go from there. Try to exchange your Amethyst. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro, at all. I don't think. Let me see. You get an Infernal Deluxe pack, but it's unoctionable. I don't want an unoctionable player from a set I don't have to lock in for. So I'm not going to exchange them ever. If you want to, you guys can. We are going to open one more box. See if I can pull the diamond or a pink diamond. People are telling me to do a prime box. I do not want to have to spend any ridiculous amounts of MT. Really, the main reason I'm doing this, add badges, add a bunch of stuff to the collection, even if I don't pull anything. I am seeing a lot of people pull some decent stuff, though. So congrats, man. Like, if you are pulling some decent stuff, that is solid. Why is Paolo sell more for Jamal Murray? Well, because when these players are going to be auctionable, Boncaro is 157000 where's Jamal Murray is 73000 So Jamal Murray is just cheaper. Not all these diamonds are the same price. So that's important to know as well. I pulled T-Mac. I feel like a lot of people are pulling T-Max for, uh, you know, as many people as I feel like should be pulling T-Max. I feel like there's a ton of T-Max being pulled. And I'm, meanwhile, pulling Emerald Kyrie Irving, who did have a crazy game last night. If you watched that Mavs game, man, Kyrie was going crazy. He was absolutely hooping. But I feel like these pack odds are actually not that bad for at least the people in the chat. And I don't know if I'm happy about it. No grind now. Hey, man, I would be happy about it. But... I mean, I, I'm probably going to do the grind anyways, uh, eat one way or another, see how long it does take to hopefully help you guys out. I don't like the maps, but they, they, they did get the job done last night. So I can't sit there and hate. Okay, we got a diamond. You know what? It's a shake too, but it still could be Jamal Murray, right? Because I still think he would shake. So how this works is out of a diamond, you don't want Jamal Murray. Why? Jamal Murray by far sells for the left. The, the, the least. If you get Bon Carroll, you're up because he sells for quite a bit of MT. Don't be Jamal Murray. That's fine. Shooting guard, Clyde Drexler. Now, Clyde is the second cheapest, but he still sells for way more than Jamal Murray. So I'll take that right there. I'll take that. Why is Tyler Hero 42K? Yeah, because Tyler Hero sells for more. It's it's just kind of, they, they, they price things a little bit differently, which I actually like, but yeah, the diamonds do and not all sell for the same. So that is important to know. Murray's nice because you don't want to play salary cap. Yes, but remember, T-Mac is not a lock-in, guys. So it's not like just because you got him, you don't have to, you know, grind out T-Mac. Unless you pull T-Mac, you're not going to be able to get him unless you grind out all of those things. Uh, it kind of stinks, but just kind of the way it is. Uh, the players with multiplayer agendas are more expensive. That's why. Oh, that's valid too. But it's also those players are better too. Like Bon Caro is way better than Jamal Murray as well. So I don't know how 2K decided it, but uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of part of it as well. So just know at the start of this, guys, I started with just under 500, or maybe right around 500,000 MT. And as we are winding things down here, Robin Lopez there as a gold. I feel like I really didn't lose a bunch of MT. Like even these, I can quick sell for 63,000 MT, which is pretty nice. As long as you don't lose MT, you're fine. 63,000 MT. Plus, I added a diamond to the collection as well. So I feel like what if when I do go through and sell these cards, I'll be basically even on MT. And I got some agendas done. I got, uh, and not meaning to, I got some Hall of Fame badges in my collection that I can go through and lock in for. Are packs worth opening? I would say they never are. Especially if you don't pull T-Mac, you're going to have to go through and grind out these every one of these agendas again. Because it's important to know. T-Mac is not the lock-in. So it's not like, oh, I just got to get AK, Steph, Paolo, Boncaro, and Hero now. I got to grind them out, and then I can lock in for T-Mac. No. I'm going to have to go grind them all out for T-Mac as it stands anyways. I didn't pull anybody I really wanted in the packs, but I do got a lot of cards that I can go back and resell. That's going to wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are doing it. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.